we're back to do the uh, new mission. <laughs> so, we're already here. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Marlands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. So that's a new area, I'm assuming. I will let you know in advance. There are no Pokemon. There are no Pokemon numbers in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a Lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now we had to report people seeing strange. Shadowy figures on the island the Lord used to call his home. We've also received word from the Security Corps and Supply Corps. It seems some of the members were attacked by ghosts while out gathering materials around Firespit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan can't just, just can't tolerate this, this desecration of our late Lord's seat. No, normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Akari. Think of it. Think no nothing of it. Akari is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure she will sort things out. Indeed, a indeed. Akari called the Lord of the Woods. I've seen her both strength and her kindness firsthand. Oh, okay. I guess we, uh, we're out of Manica here. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield in the Crimson Marylands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. And you know your mission. Investigate Firespot Island. Okay, so we're gonna go to Cobalt Coastlands. Ah, uh, if it's an Okari. Okay, it's a uh, Lin. What are you doing here? So I suppose it'd be expected that I run into you this village. Where are you going to study Pokemon X? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I'm going over there. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Polina's currently in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some Pokemon in the Pearl people, <laughs> people in the Pearl Clan that'll speak ill of her, though not not to her face. Oh, that, that bro, that's kind of bad, bro. Come on. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be. Airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can evo even evolve some Pokemon. You need to look further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon in this region, then the stones you find throughout his way will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power Almighty Tino used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and under underestimate how important zones can be to help grind to help grind this fact into you. Here, I'll give you some rather handy zones and things I found. Two grit pebbles. Okay, I mean, and three sacks of grit grout. And you sh and should you want some zones that can help pull one of them? I believe the Ginkgo Guild has stuff at them from time to time. Alright, so we uh, got some stones. Obviously, we don't really need them because we don't. We just don't. I don't need any of this. And uh, let's just sort it out just in case. Alright, so yeah, we'll. Um... Hey, Cobalt Calls Lance. Something, eh, <laughs> something I did not address uh, at the beginning was that. Uh, I uh I I basically changed my whole character. I changed her haircut. I changed her outfit. You know, I I I wanted to change it up. Okay, it's uh, is it? I I mean I'm assuming there's way more to this than what it seems. It looks pretty small. Hopefully uh there's there's more there. Okay, see. <laughs> Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of Hisui, sea and sky, and as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon are we this year? I wonder. Water types or flying types? Perhaps, perhaps, oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you are just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon. But let's not forget that, that you have a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Yeah, the island. If it's an island, I'm assuming it's water covered and then you do not swollen but rad Pokemon. Hmm, indeed. Firespot Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I advise you speak to the fellow, to a fellow called Iskan. 
He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Alright, so we're gonna have to find uh, Iskan. For some reason, uh, Iruda wants to fight us. Okay, um. I guess we're fighting her. Yeah, she, she just played her flute and then. Oh, it's Glaceon! I love Glaceon, but I'm over leveled. I'm level 35. Am I over leveled? Dude, this freaking wild one just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, there's. Mm, okay, so. If I go. Okay, if I go normal, it'll be Luxray, Eevee, Glacier, and Luxray. But then. Okay, you know what? Eevee's not gonna do anything. Come on. So let's just go strong style. And then freaking Glacier. Or Eevee. And then Glacier, and then Eevee, and then I can attack again. Okay, well, they just use Quick Attack, so they're not gonna really do any, any, anything of importance here, really. Oh, wait, Glaceon goes again? Yo, I got Frostbite, bro. Come on. Let's just use Strong Style again and destroy that freaking Glaceon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what? Isn't that isn't that uh, isn't that a wild Eevee though? Okay, <laughs> they're freaking Eevee destroyed us, but it's fine. We have a uh, freaking Floatzel here, and just Rock Smash. Yeah, he did. I'm sorry, Eevee, but not only super effective, but it's also strong style. And the battle has been decided. Although I. Yeah. I don't think that was her freaking Eevee. And, oh! Okay. We can actually evolve uh, my starter. The world is vast, and she's small within it. Yep, you better hear my freaking Pokemon. Come on. Freaking starting the battle just for nothing. I can't, I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I ended up with the bird inside bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise her successor, successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. Paulina. This is to say Paulina. She's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We are both in the running to become leader of the pro clan. We struggle to surpass one another. But she taught me a great deal too. Having said all of this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the one she looks after into a true heir to her fa to his father, the late lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late lord's heir he here would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should sound Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up in the head of land. Head down to this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up to, leading upon the ridge. All right, so we're we're gonna do that. And actually, no, no, no. We have a Pokemon to evolve. We have the Dark Tricks. Look at that. You're evolving. We're gonna have a Rowlet. Wait, not Rowlet. Freaking Decidueye. Oh. Okay, yeah, uh, this situation looks uh, <laughs> very different. Um, okay, let me actually check a summary. Okay, so this is this is why we uh, we evolved it, and <laughs> it's a uh, like orangey red, like fall, the leaves and fall. So let's let's actually check out. Uh, wait, uh, it's a fighting type. Okay. Oh. Well, hmm. Wait, I'm four times. Okay. <laughs> Freaking. Wow, okay, there's actually a lot of. Because um... there's Aura Sphere. 
There's also Leaf Blade, which we can trade in for Magical Leaf, since. Actually, I, I'll, I'll, I'll delete this on my old time. You know, there's no, there's no need to do it right now. And we should go to, you know, help out, help out the pro client. And we're here. It, it took me a bit to actually find its location. It, I, I, I couldn't find it. Freaking, I had to go all the way back, retrace, uh, basically go all the way to the left, and then I found it. I start, I started at the left. Or I mean, I started at the middle, went to, went to the left, didn't find it. I'm Polina of the Pro Clan. Who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the Galaxy team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligan when no, when none other could quell the frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you such, you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastland? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess which of these growlers would you say is the previous lord's child? The small one. Oh, you have quite a good eye. This quiet, skittish growlers is the child of the previous lord. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the pro clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll sleep by his little one side and let him live his life as he wishes. So that so now that you know our situation, my ass, your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm here to help the here. Ah, did Irida ask you to interview him, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture. Truly, but I- Truly. But I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. But now that you know our situation, might ask your purpose in coming to- Okay. To Fire Spell Island. I see there are rumors this, the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basque Legion in or if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. Alright, well, where do I find the fellow? There's definitely something strange happening out in Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but there's also the odd lighting that came from that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry, a word that we may have offended the Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pro Clan and the Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revert to the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we reach an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, but I did digress. I do apologize. Iskin lives on the Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Alright, so we're gonna go to Apom Hill. It's at the other side. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna. Dude, oh yeah, I, 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 I said, um, no, like, really grinding. But I, I I did have I did have to catch uh, a growl. I it, it was small. I it, it just looks so cute. All right, looking at this, <laughs> the NPC says it looks beautiful. But look at this water, bro. This looks like Roblox. Not not like not lying. This looks like Roblox. If I'm being honest, like you don't see no grass right there. Like I see some pictures, and the game does look beautiful in certain areas, but. This is not one of those areas. Like that that looks like friggin' paint. Like blue paint and that's has like shining uh has light over it, on top of it. Like if you told me what was the best looking thing here, I think I'd say the freaking sky. Cause the gra see like this this like not even the previous areas look like this bad I think. Having this water all over the horizon, and then um, having this like... Is this grass? Yeah, it, it just looks pretty bad, I you know. Like that. Like, like what is that? Does it move when I... Yeah, yeah it even moves when I freaking move the camera to the ground over there. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <We're, laughs> yeah it, it, it looks freaking terrible, but I mean... It looks terrible, but the, the gameplay is actually pretty good. So, and yeah, we're, we're gonna have to meet each other at Apom uh, Hill and not try to not die.
Okay, I, I, I was going over there, but uh, time distortion uh, is happening, and I really want to check that out. Freaking, it's right over here. Because they have a really increased chance of finding a shiny, so I really want to do that. So if, if you find any, anything interesting, you'll see. Uh, we're near, and uh, the distortion, it had some cool Pokemon. Oh, it's uh, Velo. But the uh, Pokemon uh, distortion didn't really have any... Uh, Chinese. I mean, there's an increase in shiny rates, but I, I didn't get a shiny. I've seen uh, three distortions, I think. But I have not seen any. I, d I did catch a bull one, though. And uh, they're pretty powerful. I'm not going to use them right now, but I might switch them out um, later on. Because they're like in level 45s. The temple ones that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from the Almighty Sinnoh himself. Why would they seek to challenge the Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we get all the plates. Alright, so he just wants to find plates, but it seems that the Pokemon are the ones with the plates, so he's not going to find any. Unless, um, unless he challenges uh, or helps one of them out. And, uh, okay. Uh, we're going here for, uh, I forgot his name. But, uh, well, I, Isaac, I, Isaac, Isaac. So, um, um, I scan, oh, I scan, yeah, of the Diamond Clan. Uh, Celeste, oh, uh, yeah, Akari. No, no! Oh. Hmm. So, are you here? Um, I need, uh, Basque Legion's aid to get to Fire Spit Island. Yep. Well, if you insist, then you probably need Basket Legion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite, oh, it's um, more, a little difficult. More than, more like this, an impossibly high hurdle. Or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. How so? What? Appears in the night. Which Pokemon? Darkrai? Oh, dust stocks? Dust glops, oh. I'll do it. Okay, uh, well, the pool one I need has only one I can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Ah, uh, did one haunt. Is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. So we need to catch a dust lobs. Okay. I, I know uh, dust lobs has um, some creepy ass Pokedex uh, entries, I'm pretty sure. Or is it the duck, dust lore? What, one of those two. Or both, probably. Uh, yeah. I mean, if it can catch one, then that'd be pretty sweet. Come on. Should be nighttime. Yep. Oh, wait. No, uh, no. I haven't. Okay. So, let's look at our map. Um, oh, wait. No, Deadwood Haunt. Is like... I, guess, I guess someone uh, freaking fainted over there. Or died because they lost their satchel. All right. No, oh, that's Amy Palm. Uh, we don't need an Amy Palm. We need a Dusclops. Yeah, Dusclops. Oh, okay. Um, no, I have it. Okay, it's just a side quest, it seems like, but we'll, we'll do that later. And we're going in the right direction. Yeah, we are. All right, so from, um, in the actual uh, freaking thing, uh, I, I caught a uh, repeater. Yeah, I think it's called the right. Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna drown. No. Uh. Well. Yeah. I, I caught a repeater. What else did I catch? I caught Alakazam. I think I don't know, Alakazam, but he was he was pretty low in the thirties, so I I didn't really want to catch him, you know. Oh, there he is. Um, presumably I'll just battle him. So, come on, dust ups. 
Who's cool? Oh, he's level 3. Okay, he's actually pretty high. Let's just use Ice Punch. Hopefully, uh, okay. Kicks. And... Oh, no, right. We'll use an, an Agile style. Just so it's, uh, weaker than, uh, normal one. Because... Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, what we wanted. Le oh, actually, he used Leech Life, so... Oh! Okay, I think an Ice Punch would actually, would actually be beneficial for us right now. Yep, okay. Now we can use... A lead-in ball, because... I feel like... I need to 100% catch this. And it, it might be a city event Pokemon where... You'll catch it either way. Oh no, okay, well it's not. Alright, you know what? Uh, we'll, we'll get right back once we actually catch him. Uh, here's me giving him the... Uh, don't, don't bring it out. Right, I guess I guess I got to do my part, seeing um, how determined you are to go to the island with Basque Legion. Um, I usually ask Paulina if the Growlithe she takes care of her can help me with this bit. But this time you need to help since, well, since we're making the snack so that you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Once I give the signal, you have to dust bops of yours using this Dark Pulse. Okay. Come on, man, you don't need to be too scared. It's already caught. Although, I'm not... Three. Two. No, it's too frightening. Can you get a grip? <laughs> Come on. Right, so counting down... Down to it just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have it do it when I say go. No, he, he's gonna be too afraid. Ain't go. Okay. Hey, man, it's my one, not, not yours. Come on. A delicious aroma wafts, wafts, wafts through the air. Basket Legion's favorite snack is not ready. You obtain a bottle of Basket Legion food. A favorite food of Basket Legion, a pool that will bear you on its back. This food is crafted in an unusual way from ingredients be gathered via equally unusual methods. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's a perfect ball of Basket Legion food. Then let us make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basket Legion there. Okay, I guess we're going to go to Ginkgo Landing, which is all the way over there. Oh, hello, Kari. I was just waiting for you. And let's summon it. Let's summon it. Come on. Hello, Iskin. Oh, Paulina. What's that thing in her neck? Oh, Paulina. I thought you said you'd be should it be seen together. I'm sure Akari can keep a secret. Besides, both and I and the girl with pups were eager to meet with the great Basket Legion again. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basket Legion. Ha okay, so I canonically they are summoned with the thing with the uh, the flute, but how do they distinguish which notes are which? Because they're all the same and summon to different Pokemon. So I don't know how that would work. Hey, Basket Legion, let's go. Go on, Akari. You can give the food to Basque Legion now. Dude, I feel like he's gonna want to battle. Oh. The Great Basque Legion. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this favor. So, Akari, you should let Basque Legion hear your plan. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I guess we're not battling. Like, so, we just get to... Okay. Basket Legion opened his heart and learned well the sound of your plane. E you received the splash plate from Basket Legion. Oh, okay. So, you get the splash plate. Plate. Now you can ride Basket Legion across your quality cove and head to Fire Spit Island. My, congratula my congratulations to you, Okari. A hey, little growlis. Polina, do you want to tell her? I mentioned to you before how the previous Lord rescued his Growlithe pup. Through that incident, Iscan and Basque Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of, of affection for Iscan here. I truly adored him, but I know there are words to speak ill of me behind my back. So I tried to meet with Iscan where there are no praying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. 
Perhaps, but nonetheless, after the day, I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is and not force him to become the next lord, and it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iceman. Uh, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. Roar. Wait, they're from different clans, aren't they? I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest and I'll be your unlucky charm. Though you spotted a four-leaf clover <laughs> go off soon, I also have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads, I win, and tails, you lose. You've got no chance I'm in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. We're the misfortune sisters, known across the frigid land of history, and your luck's just run out. Now get ready to hand over that growler. What? You don't take my partner? If your aim is to press us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours are more than enough. Yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. They have a Gengar? Wait, did you- did, okay. Okay, I mean... They freaking stole... Thanks for the Rowlet, fools. We we three can't live live the kinds of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the Great Land of Hisui, we need to have Pearl Pokemon one on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up with nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Wait, isn't that the, isn't that the big one? Let's take them out to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Oh, the the freaking volcano, bro. But did Gengar just like freaking teleport him or something? All right. No, it's Growlithe. I guess we're gonna go and save Growlithe. What should you do, Akari? This is an emergency, right? But you see, I've I've never uh, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Akari, I beg you, help us. That Growlithe is a very very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They say that they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around the Koba coastlands that seems suitable is Fire Spit Island. Oh, now that you have Basculage to help you cross the water, you can reach that island too. Please, could you find them in. Can you find it in you to help Paulina? Yeah, I mean. I, I, I was gonna go there anyway. Oh, thank you, you're so kind. We will make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. Oh, okay, they're going as well. No, Paulina, you should wait here and keep a little growl safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. No, I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and... No, come on, Kari. No time to think. We must go now. You should know that Vesk Legion can jump from water surface and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. You can throw items from Vesk Legion back, too. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch hold of Honestly, I have to admit, I'm still a little scared. Do you think they could have... they could uh, head over first? Or you could head over first. Okay. So, now we can ride a Vesk Legion. Oh. Press the plus ready button when you're in the water to summon Basculegion across the water into the back. While riding Basculegion, you'll still be able to throw items. What's more, when Basculegion jumps into the air, you'll have more time to adjust your aim before you throw. Okay, so it's kind of like uh, Breath of the Wild's uh, thing. But yeah, we're going to call it off for right for today. Or, not today, not, not for me, but right now we're going to call it off. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to continue on recording. Cause I'm I'm trying to stack up so I actually have more time to do my own work at, at home, cause I have a I go to school so I I'm I'm trying to bunch a lot of videos together and upload them daily. So <laughs> like subscribe, comment like or dislike you know. I I'd like the more uh, how I can improve my videos so thank you and goodbye.